Hello again, welcome to today's attempt at the step tool puzzle. Yesterday was ballet day, today is opera day apparently, so I'm going to be using words from famous operas, or maybe not so famous, depending on uh, how well versed you are in operas, which, spoiler alert, I'm not. I had to do some research in advance. We're going to start with turn, as in the turn of the screw by Benjamin Britten. And luckily we do have one letter, but it's not in the correct position. So it could have been a worse start. Oh, so the R is still not in the right place. Is it first? It's nothing is still in the right place. What are the odds of that? I think it might be area. We've managed to have all letters correct, but still none of them was in the right position. How bizarre. Let's move swiftly on to Mozart's Magic Flute. If I got five greys, I was going to go for flute as my next guess, but luckily that is not needed. Let's try crate. Oh, that's unfortunate. I tried crate because it had the most overlap that I could think of with flute. It had the TE in the same positions. And obviously I wanted to use the C and the A in new positions. So, is this going to be a Z or a V or an N? Oh, we might be in a hard mode trap here. That was quite lucky. I suppose crane, I think it's a more common word than crave or craze, but it could have been either of the other two. So I'm clearly better at one in three guesses than I am at one in two guesses. Anyway, let's move on to the Barber of Seville by Rossini. We've got the B in the right place. That's unexpected and I'm pretty happy about it because having guessed a word with two B's I thought the most likely option was that they would both be greys but they are not. Let's try an ED ending then. It's not an ED ending. So what is that last letter? The second letter is going to be a vowel isn't it? So it could be a duplicated E or we could have a U or an I in there. But it can't be bullet because we've just ruled out the T. So what is that last letter going to be then? N or an M perhaps? Feels a little bit unlikely, but I don't know what it would be otherwise. I can only think of things like bellow, but that has the E and the O the other way around. And the O was grey in the last guess anyway, so it's not in the word. There's very little chance that the word is a plural, so I don't think it's going to end in an S either. But I still don't know what this word is going to end in. Interesting. I can think of things like pulley, because I keep thinking, what are the last four letters of this word? L-L-E-Y is an option, but then you'd want the first letter to be a P, not a B. Belief. I have a strong belief that this is a plausible answer. And it was very happy with that piece of deduction. Now let's go for macabre. Le Grand Macabre by Ligeti, a modern opera, apparently. And once again, we've got a bit lucky here. We've gone for a word with duplicated letters, and there are indeed two A's in this word. Let's see if we get even luckier and have two N's in the word. We do! That's amazing. Eight guesses left. Four, three, three, two. I don't think that's quite my best ever, but it's very close, and it's certainly my best for a long time. I'm very happy with some of those deductions. Um, opera Day served me well, so thank you for watching, and go and listen to an opera. Bye for now.